That's man, Tony Six. I was his birthday last week, and uh, well, the, the horror guy didn't give him uh, any joke time, I don't think, because everybody was giving him shots. So hopefully, things will be different this time. Your friend of mine, Stephen Tobar, is here. Yeah. All your applause for the last time, I don't know how it is. <laughs> how you guys doing? <laughs> scary me a little. That was awkward. I had a good day today. I just found out I got my job back. I thought I was playing for you right now. That's awesome. Yeah. No, no, it's okay. You guys can go back to not caring. I get better than that. It's safe for football. How many people are around the plaza? I remember the first time getting drunk, like ever. How many people out there? Yeah, this one. Yeah. How many people remember how shitty they felt the next day? <laughs> I woke up and I felt like my testicles were in my stomach. I wondered why my mouth tasted like bear ass. And beautiful woman I brought home with me the night before had an Adam's apple. At least she was polite enough to give it a tuck back on the way out, right? <laughs> Think she thought I was gay. That was the last time I ever drank cool was fun. That was... That was it. Uh, uh, I drive up to the cities a lot. I always see these billboards for like Treasure Island and Mystic Lake. Uh, for all these bands from the 60s and 70s who are still out working. Spent all the retirement on LSD and the hookers. <laughs> I think people our age, like our generation, me and you, like 60 years from now, like the same experience. Like we'll be able to drive up to Mystic Lake, see if Justin Timberlake's still getting his sexy back. <laughs> <laughs> Walk into the building and just see some old dude up on stage with liver spots and a rhinestone catheter. <laughs> and the rhinestones make it not funny. <laughs> A funny word to write, so. he's still rocking his money suspenders, right? But now they're not really so much for styles, just to keep his balls from dropping. How many people are going to be lost in 60 years from now by round of applause? Anybody out there? That'll be awkward. All of us kind of hobble into a lunch pit carrying our walkers. Right? They put like tennis balls on the end of our elbows so we can't hurt nobody. You still be my dumb ass in the middle of the mosh pit thinking I'm top getting hit with tail. <laughs> <laughs> Just the Timberlake to hurt. <laughs> I watch a lot of commercials uh, when I'm at home because, like I said, I didn't have a job. <laughs> it's apparently only funny to me still. So. Okay. <laughs> But I was watching a commercial the other day for this Infinity, right? And it was like, uh, like the advertisement for this car was they were advertising that it had silver dust sprinkled in with the wood in the car to make it like some kind of luxurious. And like the cell, the tagline for this car was, "You've never driven a car like this before, because we've never made a car like this before." <laughs> I've never driven a car like that before. I mean, Cheerios and water. <laughs> more steps to get to before I decide whether or not I can afford to drive your shitty car. I wanna know why they were playing that commercial in the middle of the Mori Klovich show anyway. I watch a lot of Mori Klovich. There's one thing I always wonder whenever I watch that show, uh, which is simply, uh, why do rednecks always seem to have so many damn children? These people not aware that mobile homes have weight limits. <laughs> and apparently a free night on Thursday where they come see a comedian insult their mobile home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's all their fault though when you think about it. I don't think anyone's ever shown a redneck on properly use a condom, right? Or running to the NASCAR and never sponsored a condom. <laughs> yeah, those guys get it. <laughs> You imagine how awkward that commercial would be, right? You got the guy standing there missing a dude just like me with a farmer's tan. <laughs> He's got his camouflage condom on, right? <laughs> He's 
It's got the racing stripe for her pleasure. <laughs> He's like, it's just like Jeff Gordon. It goes fast and curves left. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Steven Hildreth. Thank you very much.